Okay, so here's the, the last part. Well, there might be one more if I decide that I wanna line, I might wanna line my hand. And so that's, that's a decision that I'm gonna make um, later. I decided that I'm gonna be going with a orange, um, a yellow orange uh, background. And so I'm hydrating the colors that I know I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna let those hydrate. I'm gonna look at my piece and make sure that it's it's where I want it to be. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna let this thing be hydrate, but I'm gonna be starting, um, I think I'll start here. I'm gonna be starting around the hand because it's important that the hand not be super light because what you're gonna do is, oh, let me get this hydrated here. You wanna make sure that your watercolors are saturated enough that they're dark enough to pop out that hand. I might have to go and do a Sharpie line on my hand and I'm okay with that. I'm just trying to avoid that. I don't know why, it doesn't really matter. I'm just making some color to kind of work with here that I can work with. And I don't want just orange. I want it to be yellow orange. Like I'm, I've got a specific color in my mind. It is not orange, it's yellow orange. So I really need to get there. Um, I am gonna add just a little bit of magenta just to, you see with the, when I have it underneath it, you can see it underneath. So I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna look at how, if I like it. And again, remember we can layer, but I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna be like, oh, it needs to be darker. But I'm gonna come around and I'm just gonna come up to that hand line and I'm just gonna work in little circles and I'm just gonna come around and just work, work that watercolor. Now, just coming around. So if I have a line like that, I'm gonna take water and I'm gonna fade it out. You see what I just did there? So um, it doesn't have to be all solid color. You can fade and stuff, but around the hand specifically, you don't wanna leave it super light because you wanna be able to see the fingers. So that's why I'm being all weird about it. So here it is. Come and do that. Come and do that. Do that. Coming around. Get my color. Come here. Do around. Come around the crane. And I'll take some water. Fade it out. Don't leave a hard line. See how I faded? Because if I want to come back, I just want that opportunity, but if I leave it a hard line, then I've kind of screwed myself. So I'm gonna come in here and work on this. Just pull that up there, just like that. So say I'm, I'm not gonna leave it like that. You see that line? I'm gonna take my water brush and I'm gonna soften it. Because this is a bigger piece of paper, I need to give myself that buffer of time, like you can't, we obviously we can't get this whole thing done really super fast and do it well. So how do I do that? Well, do you see how I'm painting mine right now? Okay, I got this, I'm gonna do this, and oh my God, how am I gonna paint that and that? You just take a water brush, soften it, and move on. So if you don't soften it, you're gonna have a hard line, and then you're gonna be sad, you're gonna be sad. Like Beal, sad shape, sad life. No, he has a great life. He literally has a great life. So, okay, there is that. There it is. And that, now I'm gonna have to make more color. And I will, I'm gonna take the yellow, put it in there. Take this color, put it in there. And then from there, I'm just gonna keep going. Come down, come in, come around. 
I do always start at the hand because I gotta make sure, it's gonna tell me if I need a line. Like if it's too light, uh, I'll show you some examples of, of ones that just don't hold up. They don't hold up to snuff. And so you gotta come in again. I'm gonna come down and kind of do this. Move this around, get this. Come down here like that and just kind of finish up. So I, I do need to do all these other spaces. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna start adding the pigment, but always soften in between. So you, you don't wanna lose that ability. You always wanna stay in control. You don't wanna just be like, oh crap, it, it looks bad. You know, it, it, make sure you soften. Like if I just left it like that, then I got a problem. You gotta go in and and soften it up and, and water brush it out and all that. So I'm gonna get my water brush and just pull it out. And then when it dries, I can come back to it if I need to, you know, I can come back on it. So I'm gonna make some more in here. See, I have so much of this magenta orange that I can totally use that. So, and another thing I want to talk about is, do you see how I'm not trying to do everything evenly? Do you see how I'm just like, it's okay if it, we call it in Hollywood, we call it come and go. Do you want to do a little come and go on that? Okay. You're like, so when I was first starting out, they'd be like, can we do a little come and go? I'd be like, come and go. And so that means like, it comes and it goes. It's coming go, it's coming, it's going. It's it's not just a solid color. It's got, it's coming and going. So it comes in and it bumps up and it goes. So yeah, so there, I just gave you a little secret Hollywood catchphrase for painters. A little come and go, whatever, it's dumb. Okay, so I'm gonna get, when this is drying, I'm gonna keep working. So I don't wanna to take too long, but I wanna show you everything that it can do. <sighs> Beale's probably like, stop, we want the minute, we want the videos to be 10 minutes long. But you know, I gotta, I wanna show you what happens when this dries and how you can go back into it. So here's this now, I'm gonna come in with my water brush and I'm gonna soften this out. And do you see how I don't have a bunch of brush marks? You know why? Cause I'm using my water brush and I'm not trying to paint it like paint because I realize this is water. You see how I'm floating it around? Yeah, that's what you want to do. Um, so I've got a little drip going. So me, I like them, but I don't want to teach that to you. I think people like Hunter would get really pissed at me if I was teaching you how to do drips and stuff. It's not traditional enough, but okay. So here we go. Coming around, coming up. Now I've got what I want. So now I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna think about what, need, what does it need? So I'm gonna come over here to where I kind of started. I'm gonna carefully move it. I'm gonna get some more made here. I'm gonna make that color. Add a little water in my yellow. Make a little, ooh, it's really bright. There's some magenta. And then I need to get some yellow. You see how I just washed my brush? You know why, right? We don't want a bunch of stuff in our yellow. We wanna keep our yellow from getting all yuck. It's already getting some orange in it. I can already see. Take some of that, put that in there. Okay, so I started over here. I'm just gonna come again and do another, just a little more uh, where I want. Um, just like this. I can do another bump of, of stuff. Uh, if I want to. If I don't like, the way it floats and things like that. I can go in and kind of redo and change. So I, I'm looking at my hand and I'm feeling like I might have to do a line. Sometimes a line is too distracting. So this is, this is when artists start to make decisions. Like if I put a black Sharpie line around my hand, is it gonna, is it gonna be too much? 
So this is what, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this watercolor, turn off the video, and I'm gonna sit for a minute. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. I'll probably text Theo. I'll text him. I'll be like, what do you think? He'll tell me it sucks. No, he won't. He's supportive. Um, so then we go like this, go like this. And I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna look at it. Um, you can fiddle with this until you get the way you want. Um, and you know, like I said, you can layer watercolors. You can't, you can't probably layer, 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 but you can layer. You just, you wanna be careful because the, the paper does have a limit. You know, it has a limit. So, you know, see how bump that, I'm gonna bump that really with some real juice here. I'm gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this dry and see how I feel. Um, if I need a line, maybe I'll put a line. Maybe I'll just put more watercolor to finish it. Cause you know, with a dark line, sometimes it's too much. Let's look at um, this one. I think it works, but because his, his cranes have a black line. This one doesn't have a line. This one doesn't have a line, but it doesn't work. Cause see how light it is? So if it were me, I'd go in with the blue and I'd pull out the hand. Also, it's a turkey hand. It's a turkey hand. This is a turkey hand. No, this is a turkey hand. So go in and darken that. This student had a line, a color pencil line. Okay, if you wanna do a color pencil line, you're welcome in this, this edition, the flame finger. This student did go back in with some colored pencil and kind of did a little character. And I really like the tattoo with the flower and the star sign. So that's where we're at. I'm going to stop now and see how this dries and go from there.